Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Coco Loca here, bringing you the best tips, tricks, and tutorials to make having fun affordable. And in today's video, we are doing, I just want to go back to the basics and just do a straight balloon garland, teaching you tips along the way. First thing you want to do is choose your color scheme. Um, if you're just getting started, you may want to just try two colors at a time, so then that way you can hone your skills. And then as you get better, I would suggest three colors because I feel like three colors, not only for balloons, but just decorations in general, three colors really brings out, brings out a theme of, a, um, of any event. So you wanna have your main color, then you're gonna have a um, complementary color, and then, or complementary color, or a color that is maybe a different shade than the main color, but still in the same color family. And then you're gonna have your third color, which is your accent color. So in this case, my accent color is gonna be the pastel matte yellow, and my main color is gonna be the canyon rose. That's initially what the color that I wanted to do this theme with. And then willow is my complementary color. So when you are blowing up your balloons, you want to blow up your larger balloons first. So I would stick with, I try to stick with 17 and 11s as my larger sizes if I can't find um, you know, a large and medium size in that color that is in those sizes, then I try and pick a size that um, is as close to it. So if I can't get 11, I'll find 10 or 12. If I can't get 17, then I'll go for 16 or 19. about how to tie um, your five inch balloons um, to help accent and make your garland bigger. So a tip that I recently learned was not only to stretch out and take out all the air from your 260s that you use to tie the balloons, but also you wanna cut them in half. By cutting them in half, oops, sorry. Um, by cutting them in half, it reduces the number of 260s you're gonna use for your five inch. So um, right now I'm just gonna show you how to do them with the pump. So you're gonna do one, two, three pumps. That'll get this size. And then hold it in between your fingers like this so no air comes out. And then you get your other one. And with the, I do this with my other hand, so that way I'm holding and pumping. One, two, and three. So now we have two five inch balloons. And so, like we always do with the balloons, no matter the size, we push them against the surface to round them out. All right? We're gonna tie them together. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Okay, now we're gonna tie them together. Like so. Just like you do with the bigger balloons. We'll tie them together. And then um, these you can use the necks, leave the necks loose um, or tie them close to the bottom. Um, to me, on the five inch, it doesn't really matter. Again, it all depends on. How you tie your necks all depends on how you want to connect your balloons when you're putting them on your garland. So this is, for those of you that don't know, this is your balloon, like your base of the balloon. This is your neck and then this is the rim or the mouth. So a lot of times people will just tie, tie the necks like so um, and that'll give you a lot of give. Um, and if you, if you tie it, a lot of times people will tie it close to the mouth up here. Um, if you do that, it gives you more give on the neck. If you tie it with the necks close to the base, then it gives you more give on this end. So it all depends on how you wanna 
um, put your balloon together. With the five inch though, when since you sent following, uh, why can't I find the one that I cut? Okay, following the method that I showed you, um, we're not actually going to use the <coughs> use the next two. We're not actually going to use the next two connect. We're not actually going to use the next to connect the five inch balloons to the garland. We're actually going to use these 260. So using the half of the 260 and you blow up the third balloon, you're going to tie this third balloon to your pair. Right? Just like you would. Just wrap the neck around and tie it to the pair. Okay, so you have a triplet like this. Now, you're going to use your half 260 and tie one end to the pair. Just wrap this in the middle around your, your cluster. And this I actually tied twice since it's not the actual balloon. And then, and then on this other end, on this other end, you would tie another set of three or set of two, depending on um, depending on how big the holes are that you want to fill. So um, this is actually the easiest method to use. Um, a lot of people will you can just tie one at a time and tie one balloon to the 260 and do it that way. Um, this is just the this is just the method that I use um, that I think works best because you get a little more. Um, a little more full it, fullness using more balloons. So, um, so we're gonna keep blowing these up, and then um, I'll do a little time lapse so you guys can see how I use it to blow up on the um, on the electric blower. I don't like to use the hand pump all the time unless I'm like on site and need just a few balloons. Um, the only time, um, so that's a, always have a hand pump handy when you aren't on site because you might not have an electrical outlet to. Um, use your electric blower, so I always have a couple hand pumps um, on hand. I don't like to use a hand pump when I know I have to blow up a lot because um, I like to save my hand strength and my arm strength uh, for when I get on site of the event. So I'm gonna do a little time lapse to show you guys the blowing up of the five inch. garland is going to be set up. I may try and um, do a command hook right here um, at the top and um, adhere the balloons there with the 260 or I may hook it to this um, light base here or then my third option is to hook it to the wood using um, using the nail. Hey guys, so so we're all done with the install. Uh, we had a little hiccups as far as hanging the garland. Um, I ended up actually putting some nails awning. So this part right here, I don't know if you guys could see that bar or it's actually a piece of wood. So that piece of wood uh, has a nail in it and then it goes, I put nails all the way across so then that way the uh, the garland could stay and then I use fishing line to secure it so um, yeah that's why I always say have a bunch of extra things in your tackle box to um, to troubleshoot uh, fishing line scissors um, nails hammer command strips all those things because um, you don't know especially if you're going to someone's house um, you may not have 
a chance to see the area before you install or if you're going to a venue you may not have a chance to see the venue either so um just thought i'd let you guys know that and then um because of the heat some of the balloons were popping so um that was an issue too but uh for the most part i got it done um, i'm gonna make a little a few corrections and um and then get out of here now it's time for the final look in three two one